So guys, we're going to learn about a story that I first learned about when I was a little boy. I remember I learned about a story, can we get the slide up there, Lachlan, uh, about David and Goliath. Who's heard of this story? Oh, you, you've heard about it. So we're going to learn about it. I remember when I was in Sunday school, this story got told to me and I was blown away. I really love this story. And what I love about this story is it's about a shepherd boy and he was only young like you. He was only young. Who knows what a shepherd boy is? Who knows what a shepherd does? Sheep. That's good. They just love looking after sheep. So long ago, in the days of King Saul, in Israel, a boy named David helped his seven brothers look after their father's flock. He just loved sheep. He sang to sheep. He talked to sheep. His favourite two sheep were called Willie and Wrinkles. <laughs> so David, I think this is Wrinkles, just talked to Wrinkles all day long. He just loved it. And what the good thing about David was, he was only a small little boy, but he always listened to God. He loved God. And one day, God said to, to, to David, hey, I want you to go and feed your brothers. David had seven other brothers. So David, as a good shepherd boy, he always listened to God. So he starts to go out and feed his brothers. And while he was there with his brothers, do you know what happened? He heard this noises, boom, 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 boom. And he went to his brother and said, what's going on? And his brother said, haven't you heard? There is a big war going on with the Philistines. They were another army. And they were about to fight this army. And David says to his brothers, so? And his brother's like, are you for real? So anyway, what happens? This big giant came out of the army. He was about nine feet tall. He was huge. And David was only a little boy. And everybody in the army was terrified. They were scared. But David, he was about our age at the time, young. And he's like, I'm going to fight this giant. Because I know that God is with me. And I remember when I was looking after my sheep, I beat lions. I fed off bears. And God is with me. So I'm going to fight. So David had this big, so Goliath had this big, big sword, this huge sword ready to fight David. But David said to Goliath, you might have a sword and a big sword at that, but I have a God who's bigger than your sword. So what he does, this is crazy. When I was a boy, I was like, this is crazy. I can take on a giant too. And he gets, he goes and he picks up five stones and he, he sees a stone. The crowd are going silent. Not a pin drop in the whole entire place. Everyone was like, oh my goodness, what's he doing? He's crazy. But here's David about to fight the giant. So he says, God, I might be a little bit scared, but I remember how much you always bless me. And I know that right now that no giant's going to get in the way of what you've got planned for us. And all he had was a little slingshot. Boom. The crowd's silent. The Goliath continued to mock David. He continued to mock. Come on, come on. And then he comes for David. And he comes for Goliath. And he does this. And anyway, so what happens, he hit the giant right in the head. And guess what happened? Right in the head. And it was a perfect shot. And he threw it. And he won the battle. And everyone said, yay! And after this, David became a king. What I want to learn today is this. David was only young like you. David always listened to God. David knew that God would always protect him no matter what you go through. David defeated a big giant by trusting God. Guys, we too can defeat any giant in our life and all we have to do is trust God. You are special, you are chosen, you are loved by God and us all together are all his children. And right now, I want to say that guys, we are all together and we can all face any giant. 
and it could be invisible or not. You are special. So I'm going to pray for us. Can we all pray as a church? Dear God, we thank you. We love you. And we thank you that we can face anything with you. I just want to say thank you for the children and your people. And we thank you that all we need is you to fight our battles. And everybody said, Amen. Thank you. Thank you.